I think for me, it's hard to know where to begin. I would say that just my yoga history, I started yoga, I'm 48 right now. I started yoga uh, in my 20s in, in Manhattan in the Flatiron District. And at the time, it was very physical for me. Um, I was in the Bikram hot yoga world. And it was, you know, admittedly, sometimes it was my way of detoxing from a party weekend or um, my way of like running 10 miles if it was too cold to run outside, you know. So I really definitely came in through the physicality of yoga, the asanas. Um, as I grew in my yoga journey, I just loved it. Um, I didn't really connect to the philosophical side um, until way later. And that was um, a real change in my, my life in a very deep way. So I also suffered from a very deep, tragic loss. I lost my sister in 2012. And at the time I was living in Manhattan with my ex-husband and we had a house in the Mid-Hudson Valley, a weekend house and um, Julie at Hot Rock uh, was the hot yoga studio in town. And I was the city girl loving my hot yoga. And I was finding myself drawn to the mat in a very different way than I ever had been. And I remember very specifically one class that changed everything for me. I was like just face down and just crying without any sound, just loads of tears merging with my sweat. And I felt the presence of God, the divine, so much around me. I felt like I was just like in the presence of God, in hot rock yoga with like nobody bothering me and just in this presence like I just felt presence and like that I was going to be safe and I was going to make it and I was going to be okay and there was something in that moment I look back now and realize that kind of switched to me and then there was a knowing the knowing didn't articulate till a few years later but there was a knowing that this was my calling and then it was quite a radical change for my life to um, so I went through a divorce, which was also very traumatic, lost my father. A lot of things were happening during that period. But this call to yoga, the call to the mat, was the strongest it had ever been in my life. And um, it, was, it was another yo a local studio that said, hey, you should do your 200. And I just, like you, I just said yes. I didn't even think about it. And I was working a more than full-time job at that time. I have literally like no idea how I got through it. I always say I blacked out, woke up and had my 200 hour. Cause like I literally was like, I was like, wait, how did I just do that? Um, during that time, Stone Wave was, was birth big time. It was um, during just a simple time with my fellow trainees. Um, there were just three of us standing together in like a little, triangle I don't know we were in this little I don't know what we were doing I just remember the moment and Ariana looked at me with her big brown eyes and she's like what is your biggest fear and she just has this way of penetrating you little she's still Ariana. little Ariana and she's still a very good friend of mine her big voice. <laughs> her booming voice and 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 I just said I see now mind you I I never done anything like this in my life but I knew it was a knowing and I said I see a community I see a yoga studio I see many people and I'm opening the doors for everyone to come as they come as you are I want everyone to be able to come I don't want anyone to feel like they can't do it regardless of who they are and I went crying sobbing and she's like yes and if you know her like you she's like this big yeah and she's grabbing my hands and she's like don't be afraid Liz you got this you're gonna do it she starts crying the other girl Raven starts crying so we're just in this like little like layer of tears we we're just like Whoa, the three of us and I remember I walked out that day and I got in the car and I just like it was amazing it was like this literal I wish everything in life happened this way by the way I just knew in that moment that I it was happening and I went home and I said I'm opening a yoga studio I and every door opened the way it was supposed to. Um, still, even though the pandemic tore all of those ideas and trajectory apart, I mean, like literally like a lion, it tore it apart, right? It tore apart everything I knew and spit it at me. And I sat there going, 
oh, okay. <laughs> and then the knowing came back again. And the knowing simply said, you don't give up in this. You stay and you pray and you keep going as I watch studio after studio close and fold. And every day I'd go to God and say, still? Because my bank account is kind of tripping out. And I just felt this like, Day. And even now, it's still wild because it's still not easy. Um, and so that that is my journey. And I mean, there's so many more layers, but I, that, I think that's what I felt to share with you today. Um, and that's what, that, yeah, that's what keeps the love going. Yeah.